Kapla, and welcome to Subspace Transmissions. I'm Tyler. And I'm Cam. Cam, we are talking all about the reimagination of the Klingons that we're going to be seeing in Season 2 of right. Star Trek Discovery. We actually heard word of this back in Las Vegas. I believe Neville Page mm -hmm. was talking how he wants to give the Klingons a whole new look. Why would they do that? Well, fans I mean, fans loved, loved it. Them. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we were kind of intrigued by this. And all of a sudden, we are getting a lot more images of what the Klingons look like with hair. A totally organic experience. I is that what he meant by a completely different look? Is like putting wigs on these don't Klingons? The, don't the features look a little softer, though? I mean, the, the Laurel photo was released the other day where she has, like, long, flowing locks. Yeah. And... Didn't her features look a little softer to you than it, previously? It, I don't know if it's just the photo. It might just be the photo. Yeah, but. It, it's tough because I was looking at the lighting, and the lighting actually looks different than when we've typically seen her. Yeah. It, it's kind of tough. But you also think about the fact that um, I think these wigs are maybe hiding the fact that they, they had, like, cone heads in season one. Yes. So yeah, they definitely did, yeah. I, I don't know. It, it's I, But I don't imagine, like, Worf having a cone head if we ever saw him getting his, like, his little bob shaved off, right? He was in that movie with Dan Aykroyd. We are from France. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, I, I, I like the idea that they want to try to reimagine this. But what is your reaction so far with regards to the, the harried Klingons that we're seeing now? I mean, here, I'm not opposed to having Klingons with hair because we have had that for yeah. most of Star Trek's run. My question is, how much of this is reactionary? Kind of like when yeah, George Lucas had Jar Jar Binks and Phantom Menace. He's like, this character is going to blow up. And then we saw Jar Jar's role get cut down in future films after fans really got angry about him. And Star Trek fans were not quiet about their feelings about the new Klingon designs. And so part of me fears this was kind of like, okay, guys, let's go back and, you know, give them a little more of that Klingon look. And I know they've come up with that excuse. No, no. Klingons shaved their heads at times of war. What did you think about that explanation that they had? That one really kind of made me roll my eyes. No one told Martok during the Dominion War. Yeah, I think Mary Chifo ended up coming out and saying on Instagram or, or somewhere saying that, well, you know what? cultures can change over you know a hundred years or so which sure. i'm like okay but Klingon on society seems very prone to uh, quick change <laughs> yeah no yeah. kidding uh <laughs> no <yeah>. traditions there <laughs> but it to me it was just kind of one of those explanations like huh okay yeah i i hope it works out but so far mary chifo's character laurel it, it, it looks like an entirely different character to a certain degree it, it, does. it is disconcerting if we're meeting new characters that have this look yeah okay I, on that, I think i can get behind on it. on that trailer we saw like an older klingon who had like white hair and like the mustache he looked great he yeah. looked fantastic yeah but in terms of like laurel i don't like this the look of this version like i know a lot of people yeah. really got angry about the klingons originally when the first discovery footage was shown but like that's I reacted in a similar kind of instinctive way when I saw the new Laurel hair where I was like, ooh, I don't like that. Like I grew so like fond and attached to the look of Laurel through season one that I was like, I really like this. Like, like this character is very distinct to me. But my biggest bummer is if we actually find that she's been given, I don't know, cosmetic surgery for that scar on her face. Because right. remember the, the photo that did come out with her, the, the scar is actually on the opposite side of her face and would mm -hmm. be visible. Do you recall if during the trailer we actually got like a good shot of her face that would have included the scar? They showed her very briefly. I know, I know. Very so. briefly. They focused more on that older white-haired Klingon. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, in your mind, do you think the Klingons need to needed to get this new look? Did you think they need the hair back? Did, did it even really matter to you at this point of the game? There's two ways to answer that. One, no, because jumping off of Discovery, no. It's consistent with Discovery. But if you're looking at the larger canon, yeah, you kind of had to. Because they were, you know, and even we talked about, and we liked a lot of what they did with the Klingons in Discovery. But they're, you know, even at the end we were saying they feel like different aliens. They don't yes. quite feel like Klingons. And so I think if you want them to be Klingons within the canon of Star Trek... Yeah, you kind of had to do this. But the thing is, when we heard Neville Page talking about how they're going to give them an entirely reimagined look, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be wigs. I thought they were going to make them more closely in line with the TOS era Klingons that yeah. we saw. And I thought they were going to try to reconcile maybe some of the genetic shenanigans that were going on during the Enterprise era episodes. Uh, Affliction and... Oh, I'm blanking on the episode title. Right. Of the it was other also one. a one-word title. Another yeah. one-word title. But, yeah. uh, you know, so... Divergence. Uh, Divergence. Thank you, sir. That's why yeah. we do a podcast. Yeah. 
you can watch me blank on other episode titles throughout all of this. Mm. But uh, I, I think they were going to go more in that direction. I wasn't expecting them to just throw wigs on it. I, 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 is it kind of lame to a certain degree that th that it, this seems to be brought out only because of fan reaction? That's what it seems like to yeah. me. I mean, yeah. I don't know how much thought went in when they were putting together season one of Discovery. And look, that was a very tumultuous production. There was a lot of hands in setting up season one of Discovery. So I don't know how much forethought was being put into what's the evolution of the Klingons over the course of our series. Yeah. I don't know. I really have a lot of questions about that. But I'm hoping for the best. Like I'm hoping this feels like an organic change and that there's a way to do it where it feels satisfying. That's what I hope. But there is going to be that voice in the back of my head that goes like, it's Jar Jar Binks all over again. Okay, but let's think about the most popular bald Klingon ball, General Chang. Sure. Is he constantly at war? Is that the explanation? He did have the little in rats. Eternal war. He had the little rat's tail yeah. at the end, so. He shaves that off when he goes to war. 